What's up guys, it's Chad here at Drew Abuse Company for my laundry room today. If you've been following the channel, you know that I like to fix things myself and save myself a bunch of money. So behind me is my basic Maytag dryer that has broken multiple times on me. And I want to show you how easy and cheap it is to fix this issue. Stay tuned right after this. Well, let's go over the issue first and then I'm going to walk you through how to fix it. Okay. So we have three kids and this Maytag washer and this Maytag dryer does multiple loads every single day. All right, this is a basic Bravos MCT. This is a entry level or basic unit. This is not professional or, or a commercial washer and dryer. Um, we got this for the basic buttons and not the screens uh, for uh, you know reliability. All right, anyway, so my wife put a load in, okay? It's like uh, some stuff that's all wet. So obviously she came over here and turned it to whatever, we'll say 50 minutes, and then hit go, all right? Right now, what's going on is the heating element is heating up and nothing's actually turning on, all right? So we're gonna walk through what's going on right now. Yep, you can see the element. It's literally heating up back there. Nothing is turning on and nothing is spinning, okay? Um, first thing first, rule out that the drum um, belt has not fallen off. So if you push on this and it has some resistance, that means your belt is still hanging on. So that is not the problem. So before you do any damage, turn this back to off. So it cuts the heating element off, all right. So that's off, and you can tell that because the heating element has turned off. Next thing we are going to want to do is we're going to have to physically gain access to the back of the unit, okay? I've already went through this, um, or pulled it out. Um, you want to disconnect your dryer hose. Yes, I'm going to have to do a little vacuuming back here. Disconnect the dryer hose, and you're going to want to disconnect the power cord. Before you do any of that, come over here to your main uh, you know, fuse box here. Locate your dryer. My dryer is here. So we're going to flip the breaker. All right. Obviously, once you flip the breaker, you're good to go. You're going to want to come back over here and pull the plug. All right. I always throw it up on top of here just to keep it from going falling down and having to bend over to get it. All right. Next thing we're going to do is pull the unit out from the wall. Here is the back of this Maytag uh, without the back panel. All right, what you're gonna most likely see is something that looks like this right here on the back. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this with uh, one hand, but this is going to be up like this on the back. Um, yes, it is dirty. And you're gonna have to remove about 10 quarter inch little bolts that are gonna be all around this. Okay, they look like this, all right. A little quarter inch head on it. I'm using a little ratchet with a little quarter inch. So that's what I use. Obviously you pull this out here. And if you've ever been in the back of a washing machine or a dryer, they are actually essentially garbage. Uh, just super cheaply made. Um, it's just, just super trash. But anyways, besides the point, all you have, um, is a bunch of sensors, essentially. You have sensors everywhere. Sensor, 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 fuse, etc. That's all you have. And it's a bunch of stuff the manufacturer has to put on there per government spec to meet regulations for safety. And obviously you don't want your house burning down while your dryer's going. The part that keeps breaking on my unit is a safety feature, okay? Um, what I'm going to say is that I have, I do this about every eight months to a year. Okay. I have already isolated the issue with my units. Yours might not be the exact same issue, but this one keeps having the same problem over and over again. Um, I have already went through and replaced everything on here at least once to try to figure out what the problem was initially, but, um, what keeps happening is this little guy right here, okay? I have the new part right here, okay? 
This literally is a heat fuse. Okay, this little guy right here controls the whole thing. If this guy goes, your whole dryer is not going to work. All right, uh, it's super simple. Um, it just goes in there like so, just like that other piece. You have a positive and a negative. It goes right to it, okay? Now, what this does is the air charge that is going into your unit, okay, it is a certain temperature. If this little guy right here, if the temperature of this air going past it is too hot, it will literally burn this and cut a fuse, trip a fuse inside of this, and it will not work, essentially. Um, now, what causes this is, one, putting this thing on the highest heat setting and running it for the longest duration over and over and over again. In conjunction with not taking the lint out of the lint filter. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm just saying sometimes you you run multiple dryer cycles without cleaning the lint vent. Okay. If you look in the actual, uh, this is my mine again. You can see inside the pipe there's lint and stuff in there. Which means we're not doing a good enough job cleaning the lint trap uh, every, every cycle. Okay. So we're going to replace this and uh, hopefully it'll work. So again, you just have to pull this little guy out. There's supposed to be a screw. I have the screw, I've already unscrewed it, but you just remove this and you move this and make sure you match it up correctly on the positive and negative on this. Reinstall it and put the screw in and then put the back plate on and we should be good to go. So uh, let me do that and I'll get back to you. One helpful tip, okay. I do it like this. This is the original, the burnt out one, and this is the new one. Um, you can kind of tell because one's kind of dirty looking and one's not. It's hard to tell in the video. Long story short though, there is no positive and negative uh, connotation on this fuse. So what I do is I pull one cable off and install it on the new one. And then I, I'm gonna do the same to this and pull it off and reinstall it. Because if you put these, they're, both these cables are blue, Okay, if you put them on the wrong terminal, it's not going to work. So you just wasted all that time. So make sure in this process right here, you put this one on this one and then this one on this one. All right. Got the new one installed. Okay, and then I put the screw in like you're supposed to. On these fuses, do not get them mixed up. There is nothing on here that indicates that it's burnt out. Not a single thing. Terminals aren't burnt. Nothing happens to these physically to let you know that this is bad. All right, so got the new one installed. You make sure these two things are pushed all the way on and they click. All right, so we're going to reattach the power. Again, make sure the fuse is still on the off position in your fuse panel there. All right, push that in. All right, come over here, flip your fuse back on. We're going to test this out and make sure it works before we push all the way against the wall. All right, so wish, here we go. Oh, there we go, there we go. It is alive. It is alive. So we're good on that. Turn this bad boy back up. Good to go. Once you've verified the problem, again, I, I just replaced the fuse in there and the, the dryer is working again. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you clean up the area. I did a little vacuuming. Um, you don't want a lot of lint and stuff sitting underneath because it might get hot and catch fire. Um, again, on here you can see this lint that's just sitting here, sitting here, and you see this vent back here, all this lint's building up. Um, that's a telltale sign that you're not really doing a good enough job uh, cleaning your your lint trap um so i always run the vacuum in this exhaust port right here try to get as most of it as i can out of there and i kind of clean up this back a little bit and uh we'll get this thing reinstalled and uh hopefully we'll make the wife happy vacuumed up all the back vacuumed up over here again keep uh keep the fuse uh off for right now the next step we're going to do is reattach the dryer hose to the back. This is literally my least favorite part. Um, this is how the house was when I bought it, but this section right here is way too short. I literally have to install this thing probably a foot away from the wall 
and to get in there, I literally have to stretch my arm way in the back just to get the little hose clamp to reach on there. But uh, after that, it should be uh, smooth sailing. Got everything reinstalled. Again, like I, I can fit in here, but back here, this is about how much room I have that I have to connect that dryer hose. So it is difficult. Um, anyways, after you get that connected, uh, connect your power again. Quadruple check that this thing works before you tell anybody else in the house that, oh yeah, I fixed it and it doesn't work. So again, we're going to come over here, turn the fuse back on and just really quickly grab some time dry and make sure that bad boy works. So it is working now for sure. Well, that is the conclusion of how I have to fix my dryer when the start button does not work. One other thing that you can try um, it's either, normally it's like 85% the fuse that I showed. The other, what is it, 15%? Um, it's going to be this right here. This little guy right here, okay? This right here is the switch that tells the inside uh, computer that your door is shut to start. Sometimes these little switches, they go, and it just does not tell the computer to go ahead and start, so it thinks the door is already always open so that's pretty simple fix as well um you're just gonna pull this little guy out right here um undo these two screws and pull off this top panel and then you just get a, a new switch and you'll see it on the inside you unplug a plug and then you just uh there's two screws and you replace that but anyways so that is the conclusion of how i fix my maytag dryer and the issues with my unit like i told you guys uh, multiple issues you could have, but with my particular one, that is the fix. Uh, if you like this content and want to just follow along, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And as always, stay safe and save money. Alright, bye.